Hello friends. Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. So wherever you are in the world, I would like to wish you happy holidays. This is going to be holiday season and many of us utilize this time for learning. Uh, many of us go on vacation. But whoever people who are looking for utilize this time for learning, I am here to give you some hints on how to upskill yourself with Azure DevOps. You all know I, I am making this series like Azure DevOps wherever you get any questions or any queries please feel free to let me know in the comments I will try to answer you and if possible I will try to make a video for you. So from recent days I got many questions uh, from the people who are learning Azure DevOps uh, saying that sir uh, I got Azure DevOps account but I don't have any code any project I am not getting pipelines how can I start practicing. So for them I am making this video. So the moment you create your Azure DevOps organization account, initially it will be empty. So let me show you my other organization where I already created for this. See if you see this other organization, I have only three projects. These are like new projects, first project, agent project, and agile project. But whenever you go into this NEG project, if you see repos, I have very few code. Okay, I have very limited code and the two this is indifferent. Let me go to some other project. Okay. So if I go to this Agile project and if I go to repos, see I have limited code, I have limited code but people expecting they want more code that can be a Java code, .NET code, Python code. Simple to say uh, they want a readily available project so that they can practice their pipelines, they can have some repos, commits, pushes, branches, boards, anything. So they want a ready made project available. Okay. Uh, just a second okay now how okay the moment you create any project how I can get a readily available project for that Microsoft has already created an excellent tool okay an excellent tool where you can get all the codes it can be Java dot net SQL Python so how to get those codes into your organization so for that you need to go to Azure DevOps demo generator okay Remember this name Azure DevOps Demo Generator. Whenever you are trying to learn anything with respect to Azure DevOps, you need code, you need readily available code, readily available pipelines or some boards, work items, anything that you can practice. So for that only this is very useful website Azure DevOps Demo Generator. If I go into this, okay, if I go into this here you can see you need to sign in okay if you don't have first create an Azure DevOps organization see this don't have Azure DevOps organization first create that as we already have our Azure DevOps account available I am just signing in okay see now I signed into Azure DevOps demo generator website see here so I have all the projects available okay I have all the projects available so the first template is smart hotel 360 smart hotel 360 no, I want another then choose template if you see here they are separated category wise okay this is general see parts unlimited is a project which is developed on ASP.NET okay then smart hotel is a project which is developed on ASP.NET core then Thailand traders that is on react okay data on DA that is on react then my shuttle which is on Java then parts unlimited YAML you can see here there is one part unlimited if you clone this or if you create a project using this template you will get classic pipelines whereas if you clone this you will get YAML pipelines okay you will get YAML pipelines then my health clinic this is also on ASP.NET Core and, and the main thing is if you see there is a name scrum okay agile scrum agile so what is this what is this let me show you so if I go to my project okay I am going to one project first project and if I go to project settings see this is in basic process this is in basic process whereas in basic process if you go to work items and if you try to create new work item you will see very limited work item options very limited work item options okay now if I go to another project okay I will go to agile project okay and if I go to project settings so this is agile project I, I created this by using agile process in agile process if I go to the work items and if I try to create new work items see I am seeing multiple options 
whereas in basic i am seeing only three options but in agile i am seeing multiple options so this is the process they are showing here so this project this template is created using asp.net core and this project will use scrum process not agile process not basic process scrum process so when you clone this or when you create a project using this template you will see different work items when you clone something like agile you will see different work items okay these are like general ones you have many templates category wise see this is general and this is devops labs whereas in devops lab you can see a terraform project ansible project key vault project docker machine learning okay and there are many see if you see the scroll bar i'm scrolling see selenium marktopus even you have something for azure kubernetes also azure kubernetes also and if i go to microsoft learn there are many okay there are many you can select any template you can select any template based on your interest so what you want to learn and and which project you are you, you are planning to try okay these all are different templates okay now the last option if i go to this last option what is private okay what is private how can you uh, get this private so what happens here if you are a well known practitioner of azure devops and you created a project okay and you created a project and you have customized this project you have customized this project you have you have created let's say you have created yaml pipelines classic pipelines and you have multiple test plans you have different kinds of artifacts available you created hundreds of work items with different types like bug epic feature test task so these all you feel that okay this will be helpful for the next generations and someone who are new to azure devops and they wanted to try this project so you can give them the entire project as a template and you can upload that to here you can upload that to here okay you can upload that to here now how how to do that how to do that so if you go here okay if you go here uh like give me a minute uh, give me a minute uh give me a minute okay yeah project configuration okay just a second just a second i'm i'm going here just a second uh just a second wait a second uh project uh there is a save as template give me a minute guys give me a minute 